We're at Kaya and the property is called Paddy's Point and we're on about 50 acres here. So I grew up on the property and we never had an issue with deer in the past but over more recent years we've seen numbers increase. The deer are competing with livestock for pasture, they're spreading weeds, they're doing a lot of damage to our fencing. You try and number your cattle for your feed and then you have 40, 50 deer jump the fence on top of it. So. It's, it just annihilates whatever plan you've got. Through the rut season, the deer will come in, so they'll start barking and they'll actually come right up into our house yard and, um, yeah, they're doing damage and rubbing their antlers on the trees in the yards. We're having more and more um, interactions with our landholders, um, complaining about deer or asking about the management techniques that are available for deer. The South Coast Deer Management Plan, um, our main focus is to collect data um, really get that baseline data so we know what the problem is, establish the problem. We're doing um, aerial surveys, um, we're doing um, on-ground surveys of the landholders. From that we can identify the hot spots that need um, attention and then we can um, approach the landholders and, and get a combined integrated approach to um, managing the deer problem. On this property we've successfully trapped deer. Um, it's only in a small scale trapping program. When we're seeing deer from the helicopter, I'm marking a location on the GPS. I'm also recording the number of deer seen at that site. So that can range from you know, an individual sighting to a sighting of 50 to 100, for example. The map that we're getting now is um, we've identified two really big hotspots um, and we'll monitor those going forward, but they're also using this whole river valley system as a corridor. Far South Coast Deer Management Plan, for it to be successful, we need cooperation from all the landholders, so private landholders, public landholders, and we need to use integrated pest management techniques. Some landowners have destocked completely because they can't compete with the deer pressures. The local residents in this area are telling us that the numbers are increasing, and that's what they're experiencing directly. With this program we've stepped it up a little bit where we're actually engaged a private company to do some aerial surveying for us, thermal imaging of an evening, um, which is going to give us far more accurate data because it, it sort of gives us a broad slice of data over 24 square kilometres, which is the area that we're looking at for this program. This data will give us a good indication of where the, the, the larger populations are and we will target those areas with our trapping and ground shooting programs to try and get some of the numbers down. I think if something's not done about it, it's just going to get worse. So yeah, it's definitely a landowner's responsibility. Local land service have a long-term plan um, to, to manage the deer and um, yeah, we support that.